Hello everyone, my name is Noah Wiltschut. I'm 16 years old and I'm from the Netherlands. And I play the violin and I would like to tell you something about my debut album. Well, Mozart, um, yeah, his music is always so, so pure and also so full of life. Um, and I always get such a clean feeling when playing his music, um, such a clean and serene and also very happy uh, feeling. So, yeah, so I, this is why I, I chose Mozart for my first album. And uh, it's a very uh, varied program. Um, so I play one uh, violin concerto, uh, a concert piece and also a sonata. And yeah, I chose this because I wanted it to, to be um, an all-round Mozart program. Um, so I can show two sides of Mozart, but also two sides of, my, of myself. I chose the fifth violin concerto uh, by Mozart in, uh, in A major. Um, and I really love um, the humor in it. Um, and also there are so many Turkish influences, especially in the third movement, which I really, really love. Um, and actually it's just like opera with so many different characters and contrasts. I also wanted to put something extra in it, something special. So this is why I uh, started the adventure of uh, making own cadenzas um, together with the wonderful composer uh, Max Knigge, who lives in Holland as well. And it was such a great process to make it ourselves. On the album I also played uh, Mozart's uh, Freundin Sonata K454 together with uh, Joram Ishorwitz. He's my uncle and he's a great duo partner. I really enjoyed uh, recording this uh, with him. Um, it's really a gem of a piece. I certainly come from a musical family. Uh, my mother is a violin teacher. Uh, my father plays the viola in the Radio Philharmonic Orchestra in the Netherlands. And my sister also plays the viola. Um, but of course we also do a lot besides music. Well, um, I am a stipendiat uh, in the foundation of Anne-Sophie Mutter and I'm really, really honored. Um, and yeah, she's such a great artist and such a great person as well. Um, and yeah, she has inspired me so much and she has given me a lot of inspirational advices. Um, I learned from her to really create on stage. Um, so yeah, every time I stood with her on stage, um, she played the same piece so differently from what she did another night. Um, so yeah, I realized that it is so much, so much more fun to really um, let your imagination run, run wild um, and to trust your fantasy on stage. I gave a TEDx talk in uh, la last year, was it? Um, and I said something about that um, I'm one of the happiest or luckiest teenagers um, because in that time I had been I just been to Brazil where I visited a school in the middle of the slums and it was a very special experience um, because all the children on the school they all got the opportunity to play a string instrument and I was really touched by seeing that how, yeah, these, these children who, who lived in such poor circumstances, they enjoyed making music so much. And this is also what I, I want to tell everyone to, to really, if you really enjoy what you're doing, um, then go for it. Because when you're doing what you're doing, um, you learn the most and you learn the fastest. And um, yeah, it's, it's just, Enjoying, I think enjoying is the most important part and music is not about competing against each other but creating something with each other and having fun and passing on this joy to, to others.